Hello, eighth graders. Happy Monday. Uh, today is April 20th, and I hope you had a great weekend. I hope you were able to enjoy the nice weather and are ready for week four of distance learning. Okay, um, so in the first three weeks, we did our famous Hispanics. That is all done. Uh, make sure you've uploaded your famous Hispanics presentation um, and done the peer review um, on not Moodle, on Teams. It was on Teams. Uh, you're to look through five of your peers, of your friends' PowerPoints through the files and then fill out the peer review form. I have not at this point, it's actually Saturday for me, it's Monday for you, um, but on Monday I'm going to look through your PowerPoints and that peer review sheet. So make sure as, we, as I'm doing this video right now on JMC, I've looked at your research, um, and everything has been corrected up through the 13th of April. Okay, so make sure you get those other things in. Um, the PowerPoint especially is summative, so that's gonna be a big one that you're gonna wanna make sure you get that one in. Okay, moving forward, we're starting today, Monday, April 20th. We are going into unit two vocab. So we're gonna get into some vocab, back to you kind of quizzes and the things that we were doing before we left for this whole crazy distance learning thing. So I'm gonna share my screen to show you where to find things. Um, okay, so in Moodle, you go into Moodle, Unit 2, Unidad Dos. The first two links you're gonna see, this is what I want you to work through today, okay? So this first one is gonna be your vocab sheet. All right, you can print it if you want. I prefer to have everything in paper, so you do, do as you wish. Um, and then the second thing is a recording, okay? And this is me explaining the vocab uh, from my iPad, so you can see me writing things down, um, I explained the quiz, all the things that we need to do, okay? So these first two, this is kind of your assignment for today. Your first quiz, I'm gonna stop sharing just so I can look at you. Okay, so your first quiz, and I explained this in the video, is going to be uh, next Tuesday. So not tomorrow the 21st, but next Tuesday the 28th. So I'd really in the next week like you to get the shapes and the colors kind of memorized, all right? So make sure you listen to the video. I will explain what all of the words are so you can write them down right along with me as if we were in school, okay? I also encourage you, I kind of pause. I do um, like the repita, where I want you to repeat the word after me. I would like you to still practice that, especially if you are signed up for Spanish one next year, just so you still have that practice of saying the Spanish words. Okay, so from there, I'm gonna go back to screen share to show you the work you're gonna do uh, for the rest of the week. So, oh, I gotta move this guy. I gotta hear you there. Okay, it's gonna move on its own. Uh, maybe. I need my teams. Oh, go away. I gotta move this. Sorry, guys. Just when I think I know what I'm doing here. There we go. Okay, so into teams. Um, there's two assignments essentially that I want you to do. So, if, if you need to break this down in a day by day, do Monday, do your vocab, listen to the vocab um, recording, get your vocab written down on your sheet. Tomorrow, which is Tuesday, we'll go live at nine o'clock and I'll have a little something we'll do together, okay? Uh, Wednesday, you can do this. Oh, my Facebook is on there, that's awesome. Colors practice one. So there's colors practice one and colors practice two, okay? So Wednesday, do colors practice one. And what you're going to see is just a sheet that has a whole list of things. I want you to walk around your house and write the Spanish color for each object. So your shirt. So I would write down, this is like a cream. You don't have the word for cream. So we'll just say it's tan, which is kind of like a brown. So I'd write down cafe. And my other shirt is also cafe. So I'd write down cafe. Uh, my front door is red, so I'd write down rojo. The walls in my bedroom are blue, I'd write down azul, that kind of thing. So you're gonna write the Spanish word for each of those. That's it. Upload it and you're done for Wednesday, okay? Thursday then is colors and shapes practico number two. Okay, and unfortunately, when I go to student view, and hopefully this will be fixed by the time you're watching this, when I click on this Word document, it tells me it's been deleted, and it hasn't, and I've tried to upload it three times, so I'm hoping there's an issue with Teams today, and I'll try it again tomorrow, but in theory, there will be, and I have it right here, there will be a sheet um, 
that looks like this. It's just kind of a word scramble, okay? And if this doesn't work, I'll maybe email it to all of you, but you're gonna unscramble the Spanish word and then write the English word. And then you're going to, the second page is just blank and it just says at the top, listen to the attached audio and draw the object you hear me describe. So it's a listening activity. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this guy right here, colors and shapes to recording, it's an MP3, and you're just going to draw what you hear on a piece of paper and the directions are on there so i'm not going to get into it right now but that's it okay friday all of your work is due and i'll maybe post um something in the the posts i'll post a little announcement or whatever asking you a question to check in on friday um, but that's it you guys have been doing a lot with research and that kind of stuff so i wanted to still get you into learning new spanish words but not terribly stressful okay um, if you have any questions, I will talk to you tomorrow at 9. Otherwise, have a great day. Bye, everyone.